We know North Korea is the dominant issue here. And the fear is that North Korea could use Trump's visit to Asia to send a message. Is that something that the Trump team, that the White House has factored in ahead of and during this visit? Uh, absolutely. And uh, that is why, you know, reporters were asking this question of uh, the national security advisor to President Trump, H.R. McMaster, uh, before President Trump uh, embarked on this trip, you know, whether the president will modulate uh, his voice, modulate his rhetoric uh, while he's over here, because any kind of provocation coming from President Trump could have any number of unintended consequences when it comes to dealing with North Korea. And H.R. McMaster told reporters in that briefing room at the White House, this is not a president who modulates his tone, modulates his voice. So sort of giving us the heads up before the president landed on the ground here in Japan, uh, don't expect President Trump to act like somebody else. He is still going to uh, conduct himself in, in the same way that we've seen him uh, in his first uh, nine months in office. Now, I, I, I think that that is uh, something that we're, we're all going to be watching on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. What does he say? What does he tweet? Uh, in these various opportunities where reporters are allowed in to observe the president uh, with a head of state as he's making his way across this region. What does he say when various questions are asked about North Korea? That, those will be the occasions where you'll hear the president either return to that rhetoric of fire and fury that alarmed so many people around the world over the summer, that rhetoric about referring to Kim Jong-un as rocket man, threatening he could totally destroy North Korea if he wanted to, or does he tone it down now that he's on the ground in the region? I mean, obviously, senior administration officials, the, the team that is with the president is very worried that there would be some kind of provocation from the North Koreans uh, during this trip. There was the question before President Trump left on this trip whether or not he would act, actually travel to the DMZ. Uh, that was a question that the president was not knocking away initially. And then finally, we were told before the president uh, left on this trip that no, he's not going to be making a trip to the DMZ. Obviously, that would have been a provocative move. That would have been a move that would have been seen as, as, as something of a uh, provocation uh, by President Trump uh, to the North Koreans. Had he done that, they are pulling back from that sort of uh, that sort of drama, that sort of th theatrics, and so that does go to show you that they they are keeping all of this in mind. But no question, uh, that is something that we even even us in the media uh, are concerned about as we make our way around this region.